My name is Daniel Graverson. I'm founder of PIarchitecture.com and today I would like to show you how you can use uh, modules in both ways when you're doing a synchronous uh, proxy. So let me just sh show the scenario that I've created. I've created a synchronous interface <laughs> really with no content in it but I have added a communication channel. This is just a normal uh, synchronous uh, so receiver channel. I see I've missed it up. Okay, doesn't matter. What you can see here is that we're using uh, adding a module before and after. We call the the soap communication channel. Uh, the the standard is a PPI uh, soap adapter uh, bean. So that means. First, this module is executed. Then it executes the the standard SOAP adapter module, and then it will get some kind of return back, and that result will then be moved onto the PI archiving module again. So when we test this message and see how this will look out, we can go in here, and we can just send send some kind of test message through. And what we can see in the runtime here, when we update this one, we can see that there's two messages sent almost the same time. This one is sent from uh, FTP to SDN, and then the response is sent from SDN D to FTP D. So this is the first message we have, and we can see here that this message is well, the, the ID of this message here, and we can see that the, my module here is called here PI Archiving Module, and then it says uh, calling the, the adapter bean, and then it says continuing to respond to message with this uh, ID, and it's we can see at least these uh, three digits are different from the two messages so it's almost the same uh, they're working but it is working a little uh, it's, it's calling the message and then returning the message a new bean and a uh, new message and saying this is the the new message that we are processing so if we look at the oops, did I do close too much seem to did Okay. Okay. And we'll take the adapter module again. And then we can see up here this is the response message that is uh, continuing the request from the previous number and we can still see these two numbers are different and if we open both of them we can see that they, they work out just fine what is interesting about this is that this one is then seen as, as an outbound message so it's just behaving like it's being called normally uh, from for that direction, and we can see which it is using the the module in just the same way. So it is quite interesting. It's really easy to to add these two modules. You can just put the module before and after, uh, and uh, you get the the module run two ti one time on each of the the messages. So it could not be more easily. So thank you for watching and look for more information at piarchiving.com or piarchitecture.com is probably a better place. So uh, bye!